Hey guys, James with Torches and Tactical, and I am very excited to bring to you the Workos TS30S Pro. Now this is the new iteration of the TS30 lineup. That all started with the Workos TS30. Now this has three SST40 LEDs, and when they decided to upgrade that, they changed it to an SBT90 and Anduril 2. Now, first off, let me thank my friend Mark Gosling. He's letting me borrow this. So Mark, I appreciate you and I'll make sure it gets back to you safe and sound. So they changed it to the Anduril 2 and SBT90.2. And here they did an obvious change up, put the RGB switch in there. They kept the SBT90.2, but with the reflector redesign and some software tweaks, they were able to keep Anduril 2 and bump this thing up to 1,086 meters of range. Now, that's over a kilometer, so let me say that again just so everyone understands the importance. This light right here in my hand has 1,086 meters of range. Now, I don't know about you, but I think that is astounding in something that you can hold in your hand. I mean, considering what, maybe 20 years ago, mag lights with their incandescent bulbs were barely able to get across the room with light. So let me just say again, this is the Workos TS30S Pro. Now I know that's a mouthful, but with that SBT90.2, you get 6,000 lumens of pure light. And that, like I said, goes out to 1,086 meters. It is all powered by a 21700 cell inside this battery tube. It does have USB-C charging in case it starts to get low on you. And since it has Android 2, you really don't have um, a shortage of modes, I guess you could say. You can pretty much do whatever you want, including all of those fancy blinky modes like candle or lightning or so on and so forth. Now this whole body is IP68 water resistant rated and let's get into the packaging before we dive more into the light. So let's set that off right here. Now some of the old Workos packaging was the familiar orange and white flip side boxes, but they got away from those. They stepped up their game in quality there. This is the box for the TS30S Pro. Now it is, well for starters you can see that you have all the information about your light here on the outside lets you know that this one is the set. It comes with the battery. On the back, you can see all your candela and your thrill ratings, as well as your run times. Now, one lumen, this light will go for 40 days at one lumen. However, you can get an hour and a half of that 6,000 lumens or the 1,086 meters of throw. It also has the contact information for Workos in case you need to get in touch with them. And let's open it up so we can see what's inside. Now, once that sleeve is off, you can see that there are magnetic clasps to help keep everything secure. And right up top, we can see that you have the user manual and this does, here, let me open it up for you. This actually does include a user interface uh, map, if you will, on Android in simple as well as the advanced mode. And we can keep opening it up. And here's a little bit larger version for you. Now, if you wanna pause the screen just so you can save this, you're more than welcome. But let's get this aside. What else is inside here? We have a little card letting you know that there is a battery isolator. Now that did fall in the box. You can see it right here. So the battery is isolated on its way to you. And this also includes more of the contact information for Workos if you ever need to get in touch with them. So if we keep on digging in, you can see a lanyard and spare O-rings inside this little pouch, as well as a USB-C cord. Now this does have USB-A on one side and USB-C on the other. So they weren't kidding when they said full set. It does have everything you need to get started right away. Now let's get this packaging out of the way so we can focus on what's important, the actual light itself.
Now the TS30S Pro is a large light. It's considerably larger than the OG model, if you want to call it that, the TS30. There is only one LED inside here, but they get that throw with the large reflector, and that large reflector means a very large head on this thing. Now that large head does come in at 2.4 inches, and the whole length of this, including the bezel, is 6.2 inches, and with a lot of mass means a lot of weight. This comes in at 11.9 ounces, or three quarters of a pound when it's in full guise. However, if you take that battery out, it does reduce it down to 9.4 ounces. Now, as far as the actual body goes, I have to say that Workhouse has been on a roll as of late. You can see many different designs here. You have the cooling fins on the head to help keep the LED emitter cool and improve run times. You can see this is the same switch they've been using on the FC13, the TS11, and a couple other recent lights. Now, I think that it works well. It is RGB and it is a very good feedback e-switch. So you get a very distinct click every time you press it. Now, those cooling fins do extend here into what I would call the top of the battery tube or the driver housing. You do have that USB-C. It is very well placed inside there. And I have to say, of all of the design elements, my favorite is this battery tube. Now, this is similar to the FC12, but it seems like they've been enlarged a little bit, almost as if an FC12 was zoomed in on. Uh, that gives you a an incredible amount of grip. However, with the ergonomics, you're probably gonna have your thumb up on the head anyways. But it, the battery tube gives you so much grip, it's, it's ridiculous. Now it does also have this tail cap, and that tail cap has some U ridges cut into it, or saddles, if you will. And they're pretty large for how large this light is. So you're gonna get a stable platform to tail stand from. Now let me open up this battery pack real quick. And you can see that you do have some very stiff springs in here to make sure that your battery stays in contact. And here is the powerhouse of this light. It's a 5,000 milliamp hour 21700 cell from Workhouse. Now this is a flat top and I'll see if we can get a good view in here. Now it does have that large brass post inside. Uh, I, I say post, but it's very short. But it has that brass post inside and the battery's gonna sit flush down on there. Now I have to say that recently Workos' machining has improved so much that you get a very satisfying, when you drop that battery and you get a very satisfying slow slide. And that's because the machine tolerances are so tight, you're not gonna get any rattle from that battery. like. Let me put this up next to the microphone just so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. There's so little rattle even with the battery cap off that once any spring pressure is applied, you're not gonna hear that at all. Let me tighten it down. You get no battery rattle at all. I would say this passes the maraca test or the shake test, bump test, whatever you wanna call it with flying colors. Now that large reflector, that SBT90.2, and the general shape of the light, this is definitely a dedicated thrower. So if you wanna use it for search and rescue, or if you have a lot of property, now we have 40 acres, so a thrower is definitely needed here. But if you need a dedicated thrower for any reasons, I think the TS30S Pro is a very formidable option in that regard. And with Workos stepping up their game and increasing their machining tolerances and switching over to Android 2 on a lot of their lights, uh, I haven't had any issues of any of my lights. But if you do, you'll be happy to know that they do have a one-year warranty if something in the off chance happens to be wrong with your TS30S Pro. Now let's switch over to the business end. You can see that glass lens here. And it's my understanding that this is an earlier unit, uh, so it does have just a regular glass lens. However, they will be switching to a, an AR-coded lens. 
So here you won't notice any of that color spectrum showing up on the actual lens. Now, if you look down deep inside, you can see that SBT90 and a huge, huge smooth reflector, as well as this bead blasted finish on this bezel. Now, in my experience so far, I have not noticed any of these crenulations on this bezel showing up on the beam, but let me turn it down here low so you can see the beam pattern. So it's a very distinct hot spot. Uh, there is a spill on here that is hard to discern with the particular uh, camera setup I'm using. Let me turn this up a little higher. Okay, here you can start to see the spill, but a very distinct hotspot with a little bit of corona around here. Now this LED does come in at 5700K, uh, so it's, it's a little bit more of a bright white than normal daylight. But in my experience, I think it's a good balance uh, for brightness, and it, it's not so bright white like one of those uh, 6900 or 7000K emitters. So I think it's a very good choice for this light. And since this new model does have Anduril 2, it does have a plethora of different beam options. Now you can turn the light on. You can ramp up by holding and pressing. You can ramp back down with the same button controls. Now this is like a moonlight mode. You can double tap and go to turbo. You can triple tap and hold, and that will move over to your blinky setup. And you can double tap there to cycle through those. Now this here is a lightning mode, and I definitely think you could possibly fool a couple people from a distance with this since it does throw so far. Now again, this is slated at 6,000 lumens, and you're gonna get an hour and a half of runtime at that 6,000 lumens. Now obviously the heat produced from this SBT90, it will drop down eventually. But if you want to go into moonlight mode by pressing and holding, this is going to give you, you can see this turned on right here, this is going to give you 40 days of output. Now, moving up one step, this five lumens is still 15 days, so nothing to slouch at. And I mean, this is in my very well lit office. You're able to see the light still. So it's not the brightest thing in the world, but you can still get 15 days of output at this 15 lumen mode. So I'm going to set down the TS30S Pro, and then I'm going to bring back those others. Here we have the TS30S. I'm going to line up the bottoms just so you can see the size comparison between them. And let's get that TS30 out here as well. Now with the bottoms, you can see these, you can see the progression of the TS30 lineup. It started with a much smaller outfit. Then it bumped up to a longer head to give you more throw. And they also brought in Anduril 1. Then they switched over to Anduril 2, changed up the button, extended it even more, and made it a little wider. So you have a larger, wider head that's going to help get that over that one kilometer mark. Now again, I want to just say that's over a kilometer from a flashlight this size. I mean, this is smaller than my hand. That's that's awesome. But now what I want to do, since you've seen all of these side by side, I want to take all these out and show you guys the difference in the beam pattern between the original OG TS30, the TS30S, as well as the new hotness, the TS30S Pro. So let's go outside and check that out.
right, guys, so we went outside and we saw the TS-30S Pro in addition to the original TS-30 and the TS-30S. So tell me what you guys thought in the comments down below about the beam pattern and the difference between all three of them. Now, frankly, I don't see too terribly much difference between the TS-30S Pro and the TS-30S. However, it seems to be that there's more of a defined spill on the TS-30S Pro and that hotspot seems to be a little more distinct. It's a little bit brighter, and I think that helps get that extra range from it. So all in all, I have to say that my likes on this light are definitely the design. I really dig this battery tube. I think that they should definitely implement this on more. And after this video is over, I'm actually gonna see if this battery tube will fit on some of my other Workhouse lights, because I know Workhouse likes to Lego their lights a little bit. I think this addition of the E-switch is very, very well thought out. I like the implementation of the RGB behind it, and I'm hoping that this continues on all their lights moving forward, frankly. Now, again, that large beam, you do have an absolute ton of throw with this light, and that being said, this isn't a normal everyday carry or pocket light. Uh, that is one of my complaints about it, is it's very purpose driven. It is specifically designed to be that throw. Now that's not a bad thing, but with all the design cues and elements, I do want to carry this light more than I really need to. It's just not necessary unless I am looking for something out in the distance like coyotes or want to investigate a noise that I hear from far away. So guys, I wanna say thank you so much for being here with me and exploring this new TS-30S Pro. I appreciate each and every single one of you. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to invite you to like this video, share the channel with all of your friends and subscribe yourself so we can keep making awesome content like this. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one.